I've actually been a little bit skeptical to share it, but it's a uh, it's a good little bug. I've got a size 14 barbless generic hook, uh, very similar to one of my favorite hooks. My favorite is the 450BL Hanex, Hanex 450BL jigged. This hook here is very similar to a Hanex 400BL. It doesn't have quite as wide of a gap as the 450s, but so far it's they've been pretty good. They're pretty strong and stay sharp. Um, thread, 70 denier and black and i've got a 3.2 slotted tungsten bead we're just going to dress the hook come back just about the hook point we're going to grab some of this elastec squirmy material so what we're going to do is we're going to take pretty much seven or eight five you want about that many and then we're just gonna just kind of hold them there and this is gonna take some patience because this stuff is really crazy but we're gonna tie that in right behind the bead three or four real good wraps using GSP be careful because it will cut this stuff but it is a Laztec it's really strong okay so it should look something like this we're kind of going for like a octopus looking thing and then we're gonna take and we're going to trim these right here haha <laughs> just kidding did I fool you guys that time <laughs> All right, let me get this off here. Okay, we're gonna bring our thread back, maybe where a barb would start, since we're barbless fishermen. Then we're gonna grab one strand of this Elastec Black Squirmy. We're just gonna get a, we're gonna measure approximately two hook shang links. And we're just gonna do like a pinch wrap. Okay, so once we got that tied in, we're going to do is we're going to lift this up we're going to come under come forward just a hair I just put that in my keeper so next we're going to take and we're just going to create a a dubbing loop close it off and then we're going to bring our thread forward to behind the bead Go ahead and do a half hitch just to secure it. Hang our thread over the cradle. I'm going to grab my dubbing spinner here with the shepherd's hook and I'm just going to hook it into this loop and just let it hang. I'm going to grab some premium fluorescent orange CDC. Okay, so we're going to take one CDC feather. I'm going to just kind of preen those fibers back. I'm going to grab my CDC clip, clip here. I'm just going to come in here and clip the feathers, clip it in like that, okay. fine point scissors here, and just trim that stem off, it should look like that, set your CDC down and grab some iced up rusty brown, this is an amazing color, it's a fish catching color. And we're going to open up our dubbing loop, like so. We're going to dub one, one of the strands. Be pretty generous. So we're going to want those long strands, so like, yeah, just be generous. And okay, so next we're going to take our CDC. Um, we'll see, I've still got, got about... I don't know, maybe an inch left. And I'm gonna stick the CDC at the very end of that loop. Stick it in there. I'm gonna pull and then release. This uh, should look like that. And we're going to spin it. 
cord it up. So it should be corded up like that. Let that hang there, squirmy. Out of the keeper and we're just gonna wrap it forward. Keep tension on it. This stuff is wild. Get a few wraps um, in front and behind. Otherwise, it will go all washanglify on you guys. Stretch it about 50%, not too hard. Peel out of your thread. Give that just a couple more wraps. Just okay, we're gonna grab our dubbing noodle. Just hung my thread over the cradle, and we're just gonna wrap this forward. And I'm just gonna leave tiny little gaps so that way you can see just a little bit of the black. I'm just going to keep wrapping it all the way up to the bead. And then we'll take our thread, pull it out of the cradle, and we'll secure it two or three wraps behind and pull that back. Get a couple wraps in front, trim off our axe grab just a little bit more of the stubbing. Let's dub us another little noodle here, right behind the bead. And again, I'm being generous with how I tie these. I don't know, I did brush them out for that. Five or six turn whip finish, pull, trim our thread, take our dubbing brush, brush that copper out. Give it a nice buggy look. Here it is with the UV light. And there it is. The regular light. Eee! I don't know why, guys. But this thing, when nothing else is working, this bug, this worm. I think it would make a good carp fly, too. But it, it, do, it does catch fish. Uh, so watch my fishing videos. Check them out. You'll see me fish this bug when nothing else is working. I'll pull out the copper squirmy. Mm -hmm. I always tie five. It's like leeches attached to my finger. Wherever you're at in the world, I hope you have a blessed week. This is Steve from Blackfly, signing out. Mm -hmm.